Hi everybody, Jackie here and welcome back to my channel. Today is not a haul, it's not a craft share. Today is coming from my heart and I want to say I'm going to miss you guys, STS, the porch. I've been involved in your community, your channel for a year now and I've met so many nice people. I've discovered so many great new channels because of you guys. I miss your comedy. I'm I'm going to miss that. The interaction, the the display between brother and sister that that's is that that close is just amazing. And I'm going to miss you guys. And yeah, there's times when there's the drama, but that's with anything. And I've always said that if you don't like it, leave the channel. Go watch something else. You always have the option to click off a video or a live stream. You don't have to stay there if you don't like what's going on. The drama was bad, but the good and the comedy just outweighed the drama as far as I'm concerned. A porch love at Christmas People seem to forget that you orchestrated that, that you took care of that. The porch raised over $27,000 for families. Families in need were given $300 per family. And it wasn't just porch families. It was people that had never been to STS before, but they heard they were given money away, so they showed up. And then, after they get their money, they turn around and drag STS. So can you blame them for being upset about the way things worked out? I can't blame them. Nobody likes to have, when they're trying to do something good, thrown up in their face. People seem to forget about Porch Idol. Sure, it was all in fun. And everybody had their own favorite. And it doesn't matter. Pam and Rick and Lisa, you were the judges. And you guys said that it was going to be based on what you liked, what you wanted. And it was all in fun. It was a good time. And it got to showcase people's different talents. And hell yeah, I can't sing a lick. But I participated too. But on the understanding that after I sang, I had to be the first person they kicked off the porch because it's that bad. And they did. And it was a great big joke and it was fun. And people forget that about STS, the fun. And people forget that after the porch idol was over and the winner was given their money, the very next day, they're in another live stream and they're talking trash about STS. Now, what kind of person does that? Somebody gives you $400 and you turn around the next day and you start talking trash about them? All that does is speak to the nature of the person that did it. I'm not going to call any names because everybody that is involved in STS knows who's, who it was. Granted, a lot of people didn't want her to win, but she had her supporters too. And that's okay. Again, Pam, Rick, and Lisa said it was going to be who they liked. And if that's who they liked, that's they made it clear. Their contest, their rules, you know, so nobody should have a problem with that. People forget about pet idol. Everybody got to show their pets and the different little tricks they could do. And even if they didn't do tricks, they got to show their pets, go up on the porch and show their pets. And anybody that is a owner of a fur baby of any kind is proud of their baby. And sure, I participated in that again, too, because I love my little fur baby toodles. And I wanted everybody else to see what I loved as well. There was times that money was raised. And I'm not calling any names because I don't want to call anybody out, make anybody feel bad or good. But there were times that money was raised for different people, for different things they needed. And 
they came to the porch and said, you know, and some said, I'm not here looking for you to take care of this. I'm just explaining to you why I might not be here for a while, you know. But they came to the porch, and the porch helped. And again, that was orchestrated by Pam and Rick and Lisa. It wasn't done by other channels. It was done by STS. Yeah, sometimes the drama got bad. But I'm as bad as the next person. I was addicted to it, and I had to go watch it. And then I'd have to go see what the other channel had to say to compare notes because I don't blindly follow somebody. I have the ability to think for myself, and I do that. So, you know, sure, you hear one side from STS, but anybody with any amount of sanity or ability to reason is going to go look and see what the other side is saying. See what, if they have proof what is or isn't happening. There's a lot that goes on on YouTube in the drama community that I don't agree with. But again, it's my right to click out. I don't have to watch that video. If a live stream's going where I don't want it to go, where I'm not comfortable, I shut it off. It's just that simple. And I learned that from STS. Pam was the very first one to tell you, if you don't like it, you know, go watch something else. You don't have to watch us. Go go find something that makes you happy to watch. Well, watching STS made me happy. And I'm sitting here thinking about it, and it's going to be just like it was last night. I'm going to tear up at the thought that last night was the end. I hope they don't take down their old videos, because I like to go back and watch them and remember the good times. And there's haters of STS, and they're going to be the very ones who are sitting clapping and hooraying. Yeah, we finally got rid of them. You didn't get rid of them. It was their choice to leave. Their choice. They're gone now. They say they're not coming back. And this time, I believe if they ever come back, it'll be a long time in the future. It's not going to be in a week or two weeks or anything. I think they have enough going on in their lives that this time it really might be for good. And I'm going to miss them. It's like I got to know everybody in there. Not just on the porch, but all the subscribers, everybody that showed up in chat every night. Like We always knew that Lynn was going to pull out her knives and she was going to, you know slash fish, you know, and you knew Conklin was going to come up with some silly off the wall shit to say, and I'm going to miss that. I got to know these people and got to know their channels, and it has helped me grow as a YouTuber. I have a small channel. Sure, I'm just like everybody else. I'd like to have a great big channel, but if I don't, that's okay. My YouTube channel is just an outlet for some of my expressions and my feelings and the things I buy, the things I do, the places I go. I'm not in drama, but yes, I'm the first one that I'll go admit I'll go watch the drama because I like to see what's going on. But I was heartbroken last night and I cried like a baby. So Pam, Rick, Lisa, SDS. All the porch members. It's been awesome. And I'm going to miss you guys. And I just pray. That someday you'll come back and do it again. Because there could, there was nobody that could beat you. When you guys were being funny. The dumpster diving. Everything. It was hysterical. And I'm going to miss that. So I apologize for sitting here crying like a little baby. I just had to say, STS, you're gone. And I'm going to miss you a lot. You just don't know how much. Bye.